What's up you guys, it's your boy Felipe and today we're gonna go in detail on how do you apply or get a line of credit? What is a line of credit? What are the advantages of it? Let's get started. All right guys, before we get started, as I always request, please hit the like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe to the channel. It always helps more than people think. It takes a couple seconds, click, hit the like button. Did you hit the like button? All right, well, before we get started though, I wanna define what a difference between an LOC and an H-E-L-O-C. You guys have seen this many times on Instagram posts or videos where people are talking about, oh, I got a line of credit, or I got a HELOC, a home equity line of credit. So let's break those two down first. A line of credit is just available credit, like a credit card, leveraged against a rental property, a car, gold, I don't know, a cryptocurrency line of credit. You have a line of credit that's leveraged against a particular asset, right? A HELOC is specifically towards your home and where you live. Most banks are going to push for a HELOC because you are more prone to pay off the debt on your house than any other object. And they don't wanna to have to go into foreclosing on a rental and things like that. So those are the two biggest differences between a HELOC and a line of credit. So when you're asking for one of these uh, specific programs at the bank, make sure that you know which one you're talking about. A lot of times uh, people will make the mistake of asking for a HELOC when banks only offer a line of credit or vice versa. So you have to find the right product that the bank offers. Now you're not gonna have a sign in front of the bank that says we offer a line of credit or we offer HELOCs, right? So you have to go to many banks before you find the one that tells you that they will do that type of loan. Uh, you don't know how many times I've been hit up on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, by the way, at Felipe Mejia, R-E-I. But I've been hit up quite a bit on my DMs where people will ask me, hey, Felipe, I'm not able to get my a HELOC. I quickly went to my bank, asked, and they said they don't do them anymore, and that was it. Well, interestingly enough, getting a loan for a HELOC or a line of credit is just like dating. You gotta try a bunch before you find out what you like. And banks have this notion. They're specific to what kind of lines of credits they like, so you have to ask many banks to find the right one that fits your criteria. But not just that, that you fit them as well. So. I've asked maybe 20, 30 banks before I got my lines of credits. Now I have two lines of credit, both in the six figure marks, but I've gotten them because I've gone to many banks and requested them. And finally I got the right one. Now, why are these lines of credit so important? So right now the market's very high and a lot of people are very excited about the equity that they have in their properties. Problem with that is, just like 2008, equity means nothing unless you have it locked up, right? Why is that important? Just because you bought a house today that has $150,000 worth of equity doesn't mean that that equity is gonna be there tomorrow. The only thing that really means is that right now at this moment, you have an equity of excess of 150. Problem is, tomorrow if something happens like what happened in 2008, and you don't have that uh, equity anymore, you lose all that value and you start stressing out. Now, how do you do that without taking it out and paying more interest? You're like, I have a great interest, Felipe. I don't want to lose it or, or I don't want to uh, refinance my property and owe more money. What do I do? Well, there's that option of a line of credit if it's on rental property or a HELOC, home equity line of credit, if it's on your personal home. So think about it this way. You have $150,000 worth of equity. You want to keep it, right? In the market goes up, the market goes down. You want to keep it. So what you do is you take your home's equity to the bank and you say, hey guys, I wanna put a HELOC, if it's your personal residence, a line of credit, if it's a rental property, on the equity of this house and they'll give you access to that for one, three, five, or 10 years. Preferably 10 years, most banks will do three to five, right? So they're banking on the economy not going down either. Now, once you have that locked up, if you don't miss a payment, if you have to, if you have to draw from it and you keep good standing with the bank, they're not gonna take it away even if the equity in your property drops. You lock that in, which is awesome. Here's another perk of a line of credit. You are able to continue to use it as long as you pay it off. In a refinance, you're gonna get the ball of money 
great, you're gonna take an awesome Instagram picture, but then you're gonna just take it right back to the bank and drop it back off. When you have a line of credit, you are able to draw from that line of credit, use the money to buy rental property or flip property or wholesale or whatever, and then pay that money back, and then you're able to borrow it again. With a refinance, you can only do it once. With a line of credit, you can use it over and over and over again, which is why I personally like the line of credit strategy over the uh, refinance strategy, what they call the BRRRR, right? So how exactly do you get a line of credit? Well, the easiest way is to walk into many banks or call many banks. I personally copy and paste an email that's requesting a line of credit and I send it to all the banks and I get replies. So you ask a bank and you say, hey, I'm looking for a line of credit on the equity on my property. Do you have this program? They say yes, bam, you've gotten through step one. Step two is gonna be applying for it. They're gonna ask you for W-2, they're gonna ask you for all sorts of information. If it's a rental property, they're going to ask for the cash flow on the property. And typically, they're gonna give you 80%, maybe sometimes lower, loan to value of the equity that you have in the property. So if you have $100,000 and they're gonna give you 70%, then they might give you 65 to $70,000 worth of equity, right? So you go through the loan application, the process, and then boom, you pay a small closing cost fee. And now you have access to that line of credit money, which you can use as you need. Another reason I like the line of credit strategy over the BRRRR or the refinance strategy is because you don't have to pay interest on the money the day you close. When you refinance, you do. On a line of credit, you're able to have access to that money still sitting in the bank, and you're able to use it as you need. Now, another thing that I like about this is that the line of credit is secure, so the rate doesn't change over time. Another question that I get a lot in my DMs is like, Felipe, what if the equity in my house goes down? Do I lose equity in the line of credit? No. Once your, once your line of credit is locked in for 50, 60, $100,000, that equity, even if the house and equity in the house goes up and down, your credit for that line of credit stays the same, which is why they're great within a downturn because you still have access to more credit than your house is worth and you can leverage it to buy more real estate. So you're being smart in your real estate by locking up the equity before it goes away. Now what's cool is if the equity in your property goes up, you're able to request more credit on your line of credit because the value of your property went up without having to pay extra closing costs. This is the line of credit strategy. That's how you go get one. And it's very important if you have high equity in your property to do this. All right, guys, if you liked it, please hit give me a like, leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel and see what more videos we need to make. Thanks, guys.